All right, so last recording for the night. We're going to wrap things up as requested with a mono green Tron. Um, let's take a look. This is a Thor Severance list that he took down the... Uh, took down the um, M uh, Mythic Championship with. So we've got one Blast Zone, five Forest, and a Sanctum Luger. So I found that really interesting. He, he talked about how he cut Ghost Quarters. He just did not find it that relevant anymore. Um, the Ancient Stirring, Sylvan Scrying, uh, Sphere, Stars, and Maps from, um, are all standard, of course, there's four of. Three Relics here, three O Stones. And he actually talked about how he wanted a one All is Dust in there um, because of just being able to cast it on turn three a lot of times is pretty crucial compared to the O Stone turn four. Four Worm Curls are great right now. Uh, Karn, Uligan, Ballista, and Ulamog. Over in the sideboard here, we've got two Dismembers, four Ley Lines, two Nature's Claim, one Veil, three Thrag Tusks, Spatial, Warping, and an Emrakul. Um, this list, of course, is doing that thing where they're moving away from Karn Great Creator because they need the deck to just produce, um, have more cyborg slots to dedicate to it. So, and it makes sense. So let's jump into this deck. Stream Decker should be updated. And let's get going. This hand is not good enough. We think I think we could do better than this hand. Alright, we'll keep this one. We'll ship the Sanctum and the Ulamog. Yeah, if they get if you know if someone gets a turn one um, chalice out it's usually pretty strong against these kind of uh, art kind of decks but that's okay um it's it's one of those things where you know usually you can still just get there because you just naturally make your land drops anyway and then eventually you can get an o stone and wipe the board so like chalice is good if they can get it right away but like like even in this hand here if we just like naturally draw the the car, you know, that missing Tron piece, then we're just going to slam this card and they're going to have a bad time. Is this Mardu Shadow? Because it's feeling like Mardu Shadow. We drew the star too. There it is. Alrighty, well that's a bit awkward for us. But they are on a two turn two turn clock. So they can make that a seven and two, so nine. So we pretty much gotta rip it off the top right now. Oh, they didn't pain themselves. That's interesting. I feel like I would have pained myself. Especially if I'm casting that ranger. I guess it doesn't matter, because they're going to be able to just... Uh... Oh, we didn't rip it. Anyway, so done there. All right, we want the Thrag Tusk. We want the Veil. Do we want Dismember? Mm 
think we do. So let's bring those in. Contortion as well. Good to cut the relics. Ulamog is going to be hard to cast. Trim those. Bring all of that in. This is good. Unless it might have been correct to keep in, but we didn't. So I might make that modification for the next one. We just draw it anyway. We're just that good. I don't think we gave them, uh, no, we, uh, they already uh, looked at our hand. They looked at our uh, top deck with uh, Mishra's Bobble. This is one of the scenarios I would have missed my uh, factory. We could be making tutus right now. But yeah, otherwise it was absolutely we would want to be uh, cracking that. I'm just gonna go to forest here just in case we draw any one of our stirrings or scryings or anything like that. Ugin is great. Let's start bolting them, because that's what we do. We play eight mana lightning bolts. Sure. Let's bring the ballistas back in actually. Take out an all is dust and a carn. Not too hot on that. I think I think the ballistas are better just because we'll be able to cast them at a lower threshold and then catch out some of those creatures like the tight hollow skullers and stuff like that. This hand's awful. This hand's not much better. This hand's great. Ship that redundant piece. Keep it. 
We've got a uh, transform. We just gotta find the rest of it. Oh look, there's Karn. Don't have it. Don't have that hand disruption. Just leave it alone. Uh, overall, I so I played Etron for a very long time when it was at its top, and then I played um, Mono Green Tron after that. Um, it just depends on the format. Like if I feel like grind, if I feel like I need to grind things out more, interact a little bit more, then I like Etron. Um, if I just want to play big dumb idiots and get get through it like i think model green's great um so it just depends on what's going on if i want to interact a little bit more with the graveyard main board um then i usually lean on model green because i can play those relics main board without a problem that's unfortunate so we can either run out the map and ex um and expose it to artifact hate or hold it in our hand and expose it to hand hate uh, I usually have less artifact hate. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if we get punished. But yeah, I like both decks quite a bit. Um, Mono Green Tron, E Tron, and Scape Shift are the decks that you'll find me playing at most events. Even though, like, I own a bunch of decks and I own a bunch of cards, I, I have a really bad habit of buying entire decks that uh, I get my hands on. So, like, my friends, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, if you guys want a deck, I'll just give it to you. They're like, why? I'm like, oh, I just have it. You want it, I got you. Um, let's dismember that shadow. I'm gonna tick up because I just don't think I'm that worried about that three three right now, and I don't want to let it get uh, let Karn die to the Ranger either. You got a path. Take another Karn. Now we can down tick without a problem. We're gonna discard the Ugin because they're gonna fulminator us again. And Karn, this Karn is gonna be a lot easier to cast than that one.
get rid of that ranger sphere. We'll go green to green. Land, go. I have a hard time seeing them get out of this with us. Having such a strong lead over them, the Karn's on board. Starting off strong with the with the one zero. So we're just going to go right into the star. Mono Red Phoenix it is. will be pretty sweet against them. We just gotta get it resolved. Hmm, okay. Reasonable. All right, we're gonna go down to six. See if we're actually dead. They got a burn spell. Yep, we're dead. Come on. Let's come back to our turn. I don't know why they just didn't. Why, why, why didn't she just bolt us? <laughs> yeah, we'd have had to come back to our turn. Let's cast the worm coil and then uh, it would be okay. Alright, uh, I like warping well, I like contortion. Thrag tusk are great. Don't like the rest of that. Ulamog's too slow for my liking here. I think Karn's too slow as well. I might do that. Let's try this. I want to see if the Emrakul is uh, fast enough um, to be cast and you can uh, make it as a blocker for the Arclight and then you can use it on their own spells. So I'm good with this.
They're gonna like double gut shot. <laughs> I don't know why. I just expect like the most ridiculous plays to blow us out. Okay, I think we're going to be doing some drawing of cards, just cycle, oh, we got it, we're professionals. Alright, uh, I'm still just going to just cycle through one more, and one more, and then cast this one. Alright, pass that over. is going to do a lot of good work, I think. Well, I guess they're not paying the mana, right? Wow, that was impressive. Alright, Thrag Tusk. Gain some life. Play this. Go map, crack it, get a tower, pass it over. Cast a really big ballista, take their bird out of the sky, and just start beating it and see if that's going to be good enough. We're going to be at five. And it's not good enough because that's a finale for lethal. Ugh. 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 So good. It's so good. Tron's the only deck that I can just like breeze through and bleed. It's, it's the only reason I'm able is better of the two decks. Yeah, I, I would say more often than not, Mono Green's better. And it is one of those things where Mono Green does beat um, E Tron as well. That's always a big bonus it might be worth it for us to go get a green source here so we can sylvan scrying on our turn yeah mono red phoenix is a pretty sweet deck it, it's so explosive I like how the top eight of the MCQ had no Hogak in it, and the finals were a double burn. And I think there was um, a Red Phoenix player in there, too. And I was just like, you know what? I like how they just uh, said, hey, whatever your expectations are for this uh, meta right now, we're going to just ignore it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go get a green source here, because I want to be able to cast the um, the stir stirrings and the scrying. And even if we did form trial, we wouldn't be casting anything right now anyhow. You know, were for a damping sphere. How rude. That's fine. We're still going to form Tron and we'll pass it over. Yeah, I would agree. I, 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 to me, it's the, um, 
I think it's the second best deck in the format, and it's it's nice that it does have a decent matchup against Hogak as well. Yeah, that just happens with magic. You're going to get bad beats. If you're not okay with that, like, I don't know. You probably shouldn't play magic. I have, I have some, we have some friends that are like, it's very aggressive about it. And it's like, it's just a part of the game. It's, you know, we, we play a game full of variants. And you're going to run into situations where you're going to have, there's a lot of master labs. Sometimes you're just going to be, you know, your opponent run, pulls the nuts and you draw mediocre or okay or bad hands and it's not good enough to win. I mean, like, the, the, how hot you have to run a spike in the open or a GP or, you know, any of those big tournaments. Like, it's crazy how hot you have to run for two consecutive days or three consecutive days um, in order to do it, you know. Land. That's sad. Yeah, yeah. That's why, uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just a game. People have to recognize that. It is. I mean, that it, magic can be super frustrating. You can freaking set time aside for a trip, travel somewhere, go do your thing. Uh, you get all the way there. And then, um, you know, you sign up for the tournament and then you mull into oblivion in your first couple matches and you're done. That's, that's the whole tournament for you. And it really sucks when that's the case. I was really hoping for a land there, because then we could have cracked O-Stone and Relic. They've got two Welding Jars. We could kill the Engineer. I think we can actually wait one turn.
Because they can get a, a bunch of 1-1s, one -ones, but that's, you know, that's fine. Okay. We're going to pass it back to them. They can do whatever they're going to do. At the end of their turn, we'll crack it. They're going to save their sphere and their foundry, though. I was probably being greedy, and you guys are right that you know we could have cracked the relic and then cracked the stone. But the upside of getting the land to crack the relic with the O stone would have been extremely high. Would have been able to take out. Um, they would have had to make a decision between the Thopter Sword combo and then Damping Sphere, which I think is pretty crucial. You had six copies of the Alt Art Ugin. That's nuts. So in response to them activating this, we're definitely going to pop it. Um, I'm going to go get another land. Go get ourselves a blast zone. Okay, so if they're doing that, we're just going to pop a relic right now. They're going to have to sack the damping sphere if they want to keep it going. Yeah. Oh, because of the profit you only paid like, ended up paying like 1500 that's pretty freaking sweet i paid like seven or eight hundred um when i picked mine up because i bought it with uh it was green white was the popular version of time but i needed to get everything to be able to play green white um green red and mono green so like i picked up all the various versions we can spyglass our ostorn or an our ugin and we'll wipe the board either way
Yeah, the people that have, like, the foiled out version, I, I think, are pretty freaking crazy. Because, like, foiled Tron lands are ridiculously expensive. I'm just not at the point in my life where I feel like I want to drop that kind of money on it. Sweet. All right, I want the dismembers and I want the ley lines. Don't think I care about these or that. Maybe that. I don't think all this dust is very good or the worm coils or the ballistas. We'll bring all of this in. Uh, you know what? Let's keep one all as dust. It's in there. It could hit the uh, their combo, so why not? That seems like great value. I don't know, like, if it's a new car to him and it's like an okay car, or if I like, get a brand new car. But like, the amount of money that that's being traded around there is kind of disgusting. This hand can form Tron, like turn four, but I don't think this hand's doing anything. This hand's not much better. Ugh. Nope. Sure. We're gonna... Ditch the all is thus. The Karn and the O Stone. <laughs> uh, put Ley Line in play. Yeah, that sounds sweet. Can you imagine that person explaining it to someone like, yeah, we um traded all these cards for a new car. What do you mean? A new car. Just, you know, trade cardboard. New car. Yeah, being able to still play the deck after doing all that too, that's that's stupid good. Mm -mm -mm. What are we not playing with now? There goes all of our minds. There goes all of our minds. Going for the regular land drops now. Gonna hit it eventually, right?
got this. Look at the look at all the land drops we're just making. I like that they fought, uh, went and fetched up the, a useless card out of their deck. They have a way to get rid of our ley line. Careful with our all is dust. It, it will take care of our all ley line of the void as well. Our opponent keeps sacking their board. It's going to make that really worthwhile. Just in case they name that, it would be real awkward. I'm gonna grab the blast zone, even though they have it named, just because we can unlock that later on. So they're going to force our hand if we want to go that route. Or we just get this we're able to take it up to two and take out the more important spells sure seems good we won't be able to follow it up with a car and because we don't have the land for it but it's fine no we will because uh yeah we'll as long as we rip the land i guess Bridge. 
surprised they didn't sack it. to them and they'll pop blast zone. Imagine they'll sack the spyglass at the very least. Get another dude. Put us on a two turn clock. If we can rip a land, we can all of us and kind of reset ourselves and then go Karn and take over from there. not good. Alright, we need to just rip the land off the top of the deck right now. That's not it. Uh, I don't know what we can draw here for us to stay in the game. I think we're just dead. There's a the land. And we're going to be taking enough to die. Mm-mm-mm. that again. Sure. Um, we'll ditch the Sylvan's Crying and the Redundant Tron piece. We'll Formtron, have Blast Zone, and we got a Ley Line. That's pretty good. We just need a payoff right now. Form Tron. Payoff. Oh my gosh. We're not good at this game. We're so bad. Sure. 
green. They just claim it right now. They're gonna welding jar it. Um, I enjoy it um, myself. Uh, I, I was paying for the $35 one. I, I actually just upgraded to the second one, the $60-some one, just because I'm playing it so much. Um, and, I'm, and I wanted access to every single deck in Modern, and that the, that pricing gets it to me. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of comes down to if you're playing enough to make it worthwhile. For me, I do. I play a, a lot. Like, I'm, I'm playing multiple leagues every week. Um, and I'm playing, just like for me here, uh, streaming up itself makes it worthwhile. But on top of the stream, I'll generally play um, one to two other nights a week, even if I'm not streaming it, just because I'm doing some playtests myself. And like when you're streaming, there's a mental exhaustion that's happening that's, uh, that you can't fully focus on the playtests. Um, and you kind of have to be like turned on in the sense of like, you know, mental awareness, playing what's going on, hanging out with, you're talking to people, interacting with people. So I don't always uh, want to, anytime I'm playing mode, I'm not always streaming. Um, but there are, there, there's a lot of worth in that, you know, uh, for people. So for, for me at least, uh, I have found that it is useful. Um, I haven't, and the other thing is I don't really pay to enter events. Um, I've steamrolled it enough to where I, I feel like I'm at the point where it's just I have it now. So we just need to get a payoff here. Um, so like I, I basically just log on here and I, I always play. Like even even when I'm playing like fun decks or like requested decks and I'm not that good with it and I go like one and four, two and three, um, I go enough three twos and four ones um, that. I usually am not paying to enter events. If you're if you're paying to enter the events as well, that's when I think you're getting into this really high cost and it gets real expensive. And if you're gonna do mana traders, I would highly recommend going and finding yourself one of the discount codes. There are a bunch of them available, and so it's really worthwhile. So I think like your first like three months or something like that is at a discounted rate. But, you know, it just comes down to what you're looking to build. If you want only want to build one deck and you're just going to stay with that deck for a long time, then it might be worth it for you to just pick up that one deck, you know? SNGG, thank you so much for the subscription, uh, not subscription, the follow. Or Isani GG. We are wrapping up the night, so this is our last league. We've gotten through three leagues, and this is our fourth one, so I'd say that's pretty productive and pretty awesome. I would like a payoff. I would like a payoff.
So our opponent's down to like three minutes in some seconds, so if they don't find a win con soon, I think they're they should just be sacking their astrolabes right now and making one ones. Because they need to put a clock on this to win. opponent intended to uh, put their sword of the meek into the exile like that. Alright, they are on the aggressive now. We've got no Karns, no O Stones. We can still hit Ugin's All is Dust to stay in this game. And I think we've got two turns to draw it. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I have to grab all this dust. them on our turn and see if we can win the game from that. Hmm, they were smart to sack away their Thopter Foundry. Okay, let's see what we draw and what we can do to win. We did have the ensnaring bridge in the deck, but we are one mana short to get it. Right, because we can go fetch it up with this.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we really need to just draw a land there, and I think we would have got it. We can sacrifice their blast zone. Oh, if we would have tapped differently, we should have left one tower available, and then we'd be able to tap attack with the this. Then we could have sacked the, um, the spyglass, created a 1 1, swung the 1 1 in. I don't think that's enough though. So. Yeah, one more mana. We would have been able to. No, I guess they would have just. Uh, they would still be able to swing right through it. So. That's it for this one. It's real close. Well, we've got Tron, and we got an Oath Stone and a Worm Coil, so. They are down to five cards. Looks like we've got a mirror match. Which is not good, because our payoffs is terrible right now in, for the mirror match. Ballista here because if they uh, have a car and we can uh, at least shoot down the uh, shoot down the car after they minus it. They have an Ugin though. Mm, no, we would have made the wrong line, but. There's more Karns and there are Ugans in the deck, right? Oh, they also just have a Worm Coil. That's hilarious. Guess we're just casting Worm Coils? There's an Ugin. Still nothing. I 
You know how we were just talking about how they didn't think uh, Gus Quarter is really that great anymore? Right here, this moment. <laughs> Um, for our turn, it depends. We could put a Ballista for pretty large and we can take out the Death Toucher and then swing. Um, the biggest fear we have right now is the fact that they can just follow it up with another Tron piece and beat us um, with the Ulamog. Because they cast that, the game's over. And they're definitely casting it next turn. So if we don't have like a Karn or something, the game's just over. Oh, the Ghost Quarter. That's odd. I guess they're just trying to keep us off our game. Oh, because they have a map to go guarantee it. Okay. It's reasonable. Okay. Well, this is uh, over, unfortunately. Relics are dead. All this dust is dead. Ugans are dead. We'll bring in the Emrakul. Leyline. Warping Whale. Thrag Daddies. ship the ballista here um the reason for that is i'm gonna be going sphere and i'm gonna see if we can just catch him on nature's claim on like a map um because that should be pretty back breaking especially with their mold four and ballista is definitely one of the weakest payoffs right now for us Did the same thing. It's funny. Okay, it's going to be really embarrassing to lose on Natural Tron, but we don't have a payoff. Not that one either. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is a terrible way to lose. Okay, well they've got Tron farmed. And they're gonna have eight mana. So, do they have a Karn? It's like really sad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really disappointing. Oh, man. Yeah, that was so disappointing. <laughs> oh, man. Needed just like a Tron piece or a green source earlier or any one of the numerous payoffs in the deck. <laughs> You're gonna go fist fight with variants. <laughs> I think you can take variants, man. Let's do it. not good enough. Neither is this one. This one is. Um, let's ditch one scrying and the force. You know what? It's Tron. You just gotta be lucky. Vanifar opponent, right? That we played against earlier? Or no? I think it is. We got a ballista, which is really sweet against this. Or was this the Soul Herder deck? Okay, we got the concession. <laughs> Alright, we're going to want to bring in the dismembers, the warping oils, the contortion. Um, let's ditch the relics. And one Ulabog. 
I don't even know if we really want the worm coils here, but... We may want to bring in the ley line. Stops their combo, right? To an extent. I don't know. Like, maybe we want to be off these. Pull in the... Get real crazy with this. You've canceled, Greg. We're just gonna get rid of that. We're down to three cards. Let's just make it terrible for them. See if this gets countered. Sure, we'll pass it over. is so good. All right, opponent. I've got an Ulamog for you. I'm going to target your oof and your island.
I don't know what their game plan here is, but I'm definitely going to oast on the board and then uh, go for the kill. Think they got an interactive spell for us? They got a Coco. What do they got with the Coco? Interesting. So we are going to activate, let's see, we want to maximize our mana. So two mana here, activate this, go to get tower, play tower, and we are going to, all is thus, wipe the board. And then we're gonna just casually put a fake counter on their Ulamog. And we make it get sacrificed. And then swing for the game. That's the match. Alrighty, folks. Well, that is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you so much for stopping on by. I can't guarantee that we're going to be back uh, this week. i got to see about Wednesday if that's going to be possible. But I will be back on Sunday. So thank you so much, everybody, for... I think this is one of my best streams so far we've had. Wonderful. We were in the 30s. Uh, we spiked into the 40s. Stream for like six hours or something like that, five hours. So absolutely wonderful time. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night, everyone.